Top oil company execs were on Capitol Hill this week getting grilled by lawmakers about their huge profits. Now Democrats are calling to end billions of dollars in tax breaks. But our next guest is breaking ranks with his own party. Joining us to discuss is Alaska Senator Mark Begich. She joins us from our D.C. Bureau. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. Thanks for allowing me to be on today. Thanks for being up with us. So let's get you on record Excellent. first. Are you in favor of continuing these subsidies to the oil companies despite the fact they're raking in record profits? Yeah, this legislation that's on the floor I don't support. I think there's a, a better approach. Uh, if you go to my website, you'll see a bipartisan piece of legislation on tax reform that we've laid out that talks about all the different corporate issues out there. But this seems to be just picking on one industry and in Alaska as you can imagine the oil and gas industry is a significant part of our economy it's 80 percent of our state budget and I think there's a better approach uh, to deal with this and this is not it and also if we really truly want to go after lowering gas prices uh, as you can probably imagine I'm going to tell you that we need to be doing more activity in Alaska in the sense of oil and gas development and I'd rather focus on these broader issues, maybe a larger energy plan or tax reform. That's where we should be having these discussions, not just on one industry and picking out one industry. Because I bet you, you and I could sit here and list out many other industries that receive incentives and subsidies. But yeah, how about GE? <laughs> how about GE who paid zero, who got two billion back? Exactly, and that's an example. And, and again, we've, we've put forward a bipartisan Senator Coates, Senator White and I, on a larger perspective on lowering corporate tax rates uh, down to around a 24, 25 percent instead of being the top in the nation or in the world, bringing it down to be more competitive, simplifying it, and getting rid of loopholes. But we should do it in a broader perspective, not just this kind of uh, activity that's really not focused on the broader issues of tax reform or again an energy policy for this country yeah. which we don't have which and, is uh, embarrassing to say the least and, and senator Beckett, you're not alone you're not the only one out there that is Correct. supporting this among the democrats uh, actually president obama has recently almost shifted gears in a sense and he said that he is now supporting some of the production of oil and increased production uh, he recently said that he's directing the department of the interior to conduct some annual lease sales there in alaska and also opening up some things down south following the bp disaster that has since been uh, for the most part moving on from that i mean what are your thoughts on his change in policies? Well, it's a good step. You know, the most important thing is words are great, but actions are more important. And, and his uh, calling on more leasing in the National Petroleum Reserve, which, of course, that's what it's named for, in other words, to uh, explore oil and gas in the National Petroleum Reserve, is a good step. I think the idea in Alaska, where the coordinating all these agencies into one uh, council so we can actually get moving forward on these permitting processes, I think is also a good step. But the most important is, to be very frank with you, uh, we've got to make sure these departments follow through. He's saying some good words, yeah. but the departments have to follow through, which they have not done in the last two years since I've been in, this, uh, you know, in the Senate. And so we're going to hold their feet to the fire because without uh, domestic production of oil and gas, we're never going to have a solid energy policy for our country. I'm curious why he did it, though, because it won't, rate, won't lower gas prices. He knows that. He said it on Saturday. Is this just to take away the Republican argument against him? Uh, it might be, but I'm hopeful that it's also because the last two years we've been pounding on him. Okay. I've been uh, on the phone the last five weeks uh, twice with the president on oil and gas issues saying, look, you can't do yeah. an energy policy without Alaska as part of the equation, and you've got to get off the dime and move forward. There's a serious energy crisis here, and we're concerned about the future. Absolutely. Senator it, Mark Begich, uh, thanks for being with us. We're just out of time this morning. We appreciate no you getting up with us, though.